Hey, what's up guys? Joe Simpson here. Wanted to come over and give you the tour of my boat that is for sale. Um, I have this boat on Craigslist. I have it on offer up locally, but I, I had an idea. I was like thinking, you know, everybody wants to see it up close or they say, hey, can you meet me? Can you show me? So I thought, hey, you know what? I do YouTube vids. So why don't I do a YouTube vid? Also, I wanted to reach out to people who might subscribe to my channel. If there's anybody local or even if you're not local and you're interested in this boat, you could give me a call. We could work something out where you could get a hold of it. So I'm going to take you tip to tail on this boat and kind of give you the rundown of what it's all about and why I'm selling it. Um, this boat was my dad's boat. He bought it last year from a guy in South Carolina and he wanted it because he was sick with cancer and he was like, you know, darn it, I want to do some fishing. So I'm going to get this boat and I'm going to do a little fishing. So him and I went out and we went fishing once in it, him, my son and um, myself, and we went fishing, had a great time. So grandpa, son and, and the grandson were all in the boat. And I'll share a clip of that video so you can see how it runs and get an idea how it moves. Um, but since then, you know, when he passed away, my mom was like, you know, why don't you take the boat because you like fishing and if you sell it, we can just work something out. And I always told her, I said, look, I'll use it. And when I stop using it and I sell it, I'll give you back all the money. And then that way it's just dad's boat and I'm borrowing it. And if I sell it for you, like he wanted, I'll get the money for it. It's on sale for $3,000. So if you guys want to just take a look at it, see if it's something you think you'd be interested in, let me know. So it is a tracker 17 foot. Um, I think it's a 90... Eight or is it 89? 91. I don't know, dude. I'll put it in the show notes. I forgot. I'm backwards now on my numbers. Um, but it's an aluminum tracker. And somebody asked me if it's a rivet boat. And I would say by the look of the rivets that yes, it's a rivet aluminum boat. Um, but I don't think, to my knowledge, it has any leaks or problems. When we pulled it out of the water with my dad, it was pretty dry. Um, it's a clean boat. I have the title in Virginia, so those numbers you just saw there are useless, so if you're going to try to scam them, don't bother. And then here's the uh, console. Of course, my battery's going dead in my camera. can't believe it. Um, everything's in good shape. It's got the seats here. It's been under cover all winter. Uh, it's got a 40-horse Evinrude. It runs. It's a 20-inch transom on the back. Somebody asked me that question. It's not 15, it's 20 and yeah it's in good shape it's got a live well it's got your gas can back here it's got new batteries um, it's got all kinds of storage all kinds of cool little compartments we've got all the first aid and safety gear and the throw pillows and all the things you're going to need to get going pedestal seats it's got a trolling motor it doesn't have foot controls and it does not have a depth finder but you've got rod holders, all kinds of cool stuff on this thing. Trailer's in great shape. Tires are new almost. Well, I think they're new. If you look at the treads, they're really good. Um, all the lights work on the trailer. I mean, it's solid. It's got a power trim. So that's cool. So, yeah, it's a good boat. Um, nothing wrong with it. The thing is, for me, um, take a look. See what you think, and let me know if you're interested. I just, uh, I just can't get back in it. You know what I mean? So, I want somebody to use this boat and catch lots of fish. And I want to see them. I want you YouTubing them. I don't want it to go to waste. You know, I don't want it sit behind my shed anymore. I want it to be used by somebody who's going to put it to good use. So, um, tell me if you're interested. Let me know. I can give you more details if you email me or text me. I'm going to put the Craigslist ad in the show notes so you guys can reach out and contact me. It's going to be Craigslist in Washington, D.C. or Nova. Craigslist in Washington, D.C. or Nova. He even has a spare on the trailer. He was pretty methodical about having everything perfect. So, you know, it's not new. It's used. So you've got a little bit of wear and tear, but there's no rot or funk going on. The seats are stable, these petty seats. You know, they don't they don't wiggle. I sat in them, they, they fish great. Um, yeah, give me a call. You guys have any questions? The engine runs fine. You know, no issues there that I know of. Um, 
don't have a whole lot of info about it other than it's a 40 horse Evan Rude. Plenty of power. It goes about 25, I think, about 22 to 25, something like that. It's a heavy boat. It's got a lot of wood in it. It's got a lot of stuff going on. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I'm a bank fisherman. I don't have a lot of time on the weekends. I fish from like 5 to 9 in the mornings on the weekend days. That's about it. You know, I fish for about three or four hours off the banks. I just don't have time to put it on the trailer, get in the water, and spend the whole entire day on the water. It's just not something the time I can afford. And really the truth of the matter is I've been in this boat with my dad and I just can't, I can't get back in it without him. You know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> sorry, a little choked up. If you're out of state and you wanna hit me with PayPal um, and you're very interested, or if you're interested and you wanna come see it, um, if you come see it and you say, hey Joe, I'm pretty sure I wanna buy it as long as it runs, I wanna buy it. Then I'll pull it over and put the ears on it and crank it up. I don't want to do a lot of joyriding and starting and stopping of the motor and stuff for people just to kind of look-see. So if you're a serious buyer and you say, hey, Joe, if everything you say works and I can fire up that motor and I'll give you X amount of dollars for it and we agree on a price, um, at that point I'll, I'll hook up the ears, I'll prove to you that it works, it comes on, it starts, and then that way you leave knowing that you've got a running boat. So I definitely won't send anybody away wondering, um, but I don't want to just start it for every person that decides to come by every day of the week because it'll be a lot of work for me. Um, anyway, you guys have a good one. Take care. Let me know if you're interested. See ya. Thank you.